What's up, boat lovers? Today is a different day. We're in our studio slash workshop. We're gonna be talking about the fundamentals of our push-pull cables. Stay tuned. All right, Dad, so show them what we got over here on the bench. All right, guys, we're here in, in our live studio workshop, okay? But today is a different day. We're gonna go through the fundamental of maintaining proper push-pull cables. This is a set of brand new push-pull cables. It's for demonstration only, okay? You actually see two cables here. This is the, me this is the mechanical backup which connects to the side mount control head. And you can see that there's two different kinds of control heads that we have here. There's the older style and there's the newer style. So majority of the times that we go to the boat, these handles are loose. The set screw comes loose in here and in here the pins, okay? And what happens is, is that when they do come loose, it creates a little bit more of a resistance to push and pull the cables. This one here is a little bit different, okay? But also we found that these set screws here do come loose. So if they do come loose, it just makes the operation of the push or pull, depends on how, how they're mounted here. It makes it harder for the handle to push and pull the cable, but also puts a lot of strain on the side mount control head. So you could either bend pins here or it could start doing some damage in in the uh, in the gear mechanism here, okay? Now, a lot of times what we end up doing is that we go to the boat and when we do brand new systems, we don't take the chance. We just put brand new cables in there because it just makes things a lot easier. Now, you could actually see that this is a brand new cable and when you push the cable, it's like butter. Now, on older systems, okay, if I would take the cable and do it less than 12 inches, you would not be able to do this. This thing is moving beautiful. There's no resistance on this line, this is a straight line. But we don't like to see the cables more than a six inch radius. We like to see it in a nice sweep or better yet, as straight as possible. There's two internal sleeves in here. You have one internal sleeve in here and an external jacket here. Every time a cable is bent this way in a tight radius, this is the portion that's gonna get worn out internally. And what's gonna happen is, is now the cable is no longer gonna be able to push and glide inside this. It's gonna be a little bit more resistant. So then you have cable slap, okay? This is minimal. Now, when you do it straight, there's no cable slap. You see, when you put it in an angle, look at the cable slap that you have. Okay, so one thing that I like doing is that if you're gonna reuse the cable, make sure that your cable ends are clean. Doesn't have any debris, no salt, no rust, whatever. If you feel like putting a little bit of CRC or some sort of barrier protector in here, that's fine. But the way that I like testing is you disconnect it from your transmission and your throttle cable. And then you disconnect it from the mechanical backup. Now, if the boat is 12 years or more, I suggest that you just replace the cables. The internal operation of that cable is no longer with the tight tolerances and it's never gonna be the same. Well, I can move it with one finger when it's disconnected, of course you can, because there's no resistance on there. But as you can see, I could take this cable and it's more than six inches and I could do it. But how long do you think that this cable is gonna last like this? Maybe a year. Because every time that this actuator moves, you're moving the mechanical backup, no matter what. You take this handle and you move this, these handles will move and it's gonna be moving this. Make sure that all the moving components are free push the pin in when it's centered and just move it and see if it's free. If it's tight, then you know that you probably need a little bit of cleaning inside here. Keep your actuators clean. Don't keep them like this. And never, 
never put any grease on these two. You're gonna hydro lock your shafts and you're gonna end up calling us to resolve this because once there's grease packed in there, the actuator will never work the same. So this is just a fundamental and a little bit more of a, um, of a teaching the people out there on how to, how to maintain this. Make sure that cables are clean. Make sure your clamps are nice and tight. If you see that they're loose, go back there and tighten them a little bit. All this side, side load on the cables makes it harder for you to move this cable. When the system is working perfect, you won't feel the resistance in here. But when this system doesn't work and you're in normal mode, this is normal mode right now that you can't move the cable because the pins are in. Once the system fails or has an issue and the pin pops out, now you're in mechanical operation mode. Now you're moving it from the handle here when the system doesn't want to fire up. So, but every time that the system is in operation mode and you hear the two thumps, this is free to move to do whatever it needs to do. And now this is locked to the actuator arm on the bottom. And now you can not see that you can't move this. So a lot of times you don't feel it until the time when you need to use it, the mechanical backup. So when these pins are out and the system does not turn on, now you're in mechanical backup. And this is the time that you pray that everything is working perfect. So maintain your cables. If they're more than three years old, replace them. That's my suggestion. It's a little bit of an insurance for all the boat owners out there. Make sure that the throttle cables, the governor, the arms on the governor move nice and free. Make sure that the transmission arms, they move nice and free. If there's any bit of resistance, it's gonna fall back onto the, the actuator. And if the actuator doesn't work, it's gonna fall back on the mechanical backup. So that's a little brief description on cable maintenance. If you have any questions, hit us up on our, on our webpage. Let us know, like, and subscribe, guys.